Jay Cargill. You got a chair upside your head and talk to you, you understand. Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shade, the natural selection. <laughs> Baby, when you get into it, this right here picture tells a thousand words bitch now technically Nia Jax should be disqualified because when you look at this picture okay that steel chair is square up Jay Cargill's head bitch square up the side of her head like Nia Jax hit her first the referee should have went on ahead with it and been like disqualification Nia Jax and we would have been seeing Jay Cargill versus Bianca Belair at Queen of the Ring but no <laughs> They tried to make it seem like Jade hit Nia Jax first, and I guess the referee missed it, but let's just go ahead and get into the dynamic of Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. We're going to get into commentary reactions, shits and giggles in the match between Jade Cargill and Nia Jax, and we're also going to talk about the little shady points between Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair as tag team champions and future rivals slash enemies okay let's get into it the shady points with this whole bianca belair and jay cargill tag team thing it's really giving side eye like i mentioned this before and i'm sticking to it like i really feel like this team this union this partnership is giving trish stratus and becky lynch when trish just recently came back and how she flipped on them three weeks later, bitch, period. Like, of course, we know that, you know, it's giving big three with Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade. Naomi off doing her own thing. I'm believing that she's going to maybe team up with Bailey a little bit later along the line here. But right now, for me, the focus is the shade, the underlying shade, the subtle shade. The nice, nasty shade between Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. Like, every time they have a backstage segment and or, like, a small interaction, they always, like, rolling their necks at each other. They always giving, like, little shade side eye, looking each other up and down, like, rolling their eyes and shit. Like, mm-hmm, girl, okay. And I'm just like, wait a minute, bitch, like... We have a little bit of camaraderie, like we got a little bit of sisterhood, but like it's shady. Like it's like they cannot low key stand each other. And I really think it's gonna come to a point where like they gonna get nasty. And when I say they gonna get nasty, like they gonna have some nasty battles and like some really shady interactions along the line. Like when somebody turn on somebody, bitch, when somebody go heel, bitch, it's gonna get crazy between Bianca and Jay Cargill, like, last night on SmackDown, we had the women's portion of the Queen of the Ring, okay, and Bianca made it to her match with Tiffany Stratton last night, which, kudos to Tiffany, it was a great match, but after the match, there was this segment interaction between Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill and Jay Cargill was kind of asking her you know how was her injury and if she was okay and how she was feeling and Bianca kind of brushed it off with an attitude and then I feel like Jay gave her attitude and it's just kind of been going like that this part was cute And then in this same night, the Queen of the Ring tournament, we have Jay Cargill versus Nia Jax. And Jay Cargill have her match with Nia Jax. And for me, it was just more tea with Jay Cargill and Nia Jax match. They had involved her daughter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nia Jax really did not back down, okay? Jay Cargill, she may be strong, yes, of course, but Nia Jax, baby, she's a battle cat. <laughs> 
Bad Jax is a battle kid, and their match was really, really good. Like I said, their match just gave me a little bit more when it came to storyline. And so, it's given how the match went down with Jade not winning. I know Bianca Belair might have rebuttals to that, and or it might be some type of shade there. I mean, Jay Cargill still is a champion. She still do hold a belt. She just won't be queen of the ring because of how she got suckered into using that damn steel chair. Boo, ooh, 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 ooh. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this whole dynamic between Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill as tag team partners and as possible rivals and enemies, bitch, okay? And let's go ahead and actually get into the match between Nia Jax and Jade Cargill. Hit me up in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Shouts out to the people that been stopping through in the comment section below. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get into it, period. Oh! Okay, it's no shade, bitch. Y'all know I really had to come through to get this match. Oh, look at this little girl! Oh! Oh, that's Jay Cargill's daughter. Here we go with the kids again, you guys. No shade. Ringside seat, because Nia Jax not going to take it easy. And Nia Jax is another Bailey. Nia Jax say, F them kids. Okay. I know I had to get this match just because of the shenanigans that could be involved. That's why I'm just like, you know what, bitch? I gotta get ready. It's Nia Jackson, Jay Cargill, Queen of the Ring Tournament is next. WWE SmackDown tonight is in Jacksonville, Florida. They popping tonight a little bit. The crowd been pretty cute. The matches tonight have been alright. I'm still gagging over Tama Tonga and Solo Sokoa and that red blazer. I cannot take Solo Sokoa and this new look. And him being the head of the bloodline, Roman Reigns, hurry up and get your ass back. We need you. <laughs> okay, Roman. Oh, no shade though. Everybody talk about how strong Jay Cargill is. But Nia Jax is kind of manhandling her a little bit. They both strong and big. Oh, she tried to catch the chair. Snatch the chair. Jay Cargill with a steel chair over Nia Jax's back. Disqualification! Oh my god! Oh! Jay Cargill going heel. <laughs> oh my god, y'all! She called her motherfucker. Oh, wait! Somebody bleeding. The barricade! Oh, the barricade! Jay Cargill call her a mother boop. Oh, they still going, bitch. Let them go. Let them go. Let them. Let them. Let them go. Bow. Somebody bleeding. I knew it. Jay Cargill bleeding. Spear. Wait, what was that? Uh oh. That spear, that spear didn't connect. <laughs> Hurry up, y'all. Better redeem it. Let's redeem it. Oh, so what's going to happen now for the Queen of the Ring? Nia Jax going on to the next round. <laughs> oh! Is Nia Jax going to the next round? Oh. Let them fight. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Let them fight. Somebody charged somebody, but Jay Cargill, blonde, is no longer blonde. It's got a touch of red in it because she was bleeding like I thought, bitch. Hit me up in the comment section below for that match of that segment. Nia Jax versus Jay Cargill. What's going to happen with the rest of the Queen of the Ring tournament? Did Nia Jax actually get disqualified as well because she initially picked up the chair and attempted to swing, but Jay Cargill stopped it so it actually didn't connect? I don't know. Weird, but 
damn, I kind of wanted to see them finish the match. Then I think about how they went down. Anyway, hit me up. Hit me. Holla. Holla. What? Ooh, I'd have been down bad in them trench set rap that stick. Ooh, who gave you pills? Who gave that dust? Pluto Central.